ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the glorious, overanalyzed, our fantastical Overwatch coaching series. And today we're going to console, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we're going to console. So this is the email, and this is what it says. Hi, Stylosa. I've been playing Overwatch ever since the beta release on PS4. I usually only get a couple of hours in a day due to my work schedule. And since... Day one, I have been stuck in platinum. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a hard stuck plat player. I can't seem to fall out into gold. When I do, I get back to plat very quickly, and I can't seem to get into diamond. I prefer to play DPS, but more often than not, I am forced to flex to the team's needs to find more success either on dank or support. Okay, he says my mechanical skill isn't exactly pro level. Well, I mean, you're in plat. I mean... Pro level is Overwatch League level. Anyway, we, we move on. We don't. Well, actually, I guess it's tier two, tier three scene. It's, it's, it's complex, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, we move on. We move on. Uh, we had good comms. I was making call outs and generally trying to be positive and make good plays. Just for some reason, I can't record the chat. Yeah, okay. We know that. You can't record your own voice on console. Whatever. We don't care. So, well, we do care. It would be nice to hear what you're saying. This is what we want to care about, though, and it's the team composition. We cannot win on Hanamura without a barrier tank in the first point. So I predict this is the way this will go, ladies and gentlemen. We will attack for a set amount of time. We cannot pass the choke until somebody gets triggered and swaps to an actual proper tank. This is not a tank duo that will work on Hanamura to walk through a choke point. Unless, and I also just kicked my desk, I don't know if you guys heard that, but unless the enemy team don't have one. Uh, also, you're playing Ash as well, which is, I guess, the focus of this. A platinum Ash player who is hard stuck plat and needs to know how to get out of plat. Well, let's uh, let's see what happens. I'll see how this goes. All right, let's go. Also, a note on voice comms. They're fine to have, but... Often at this level, just focus on your play. Make really basic call-outs. Okay, nice with the dynamite. So one thing we missed with the dynamite there is we should have shot the dynamite over the choke because it would have detonated over here and caused splash damage to everybody around here. Probably would have got this diva as well. Gives you quite a bit of ultimate charge. Uh, don't just throw the dynamite and forget. So we should have threw the dynamite and detonated it. Apart from that, our position's okay here. Problem is, oh no, they've got a Reinhardt. How are we going to get past the choke, ladies and gentlemen? What a conundrum, as they'd say on Countdown. A very popular program in the UK. That's right, I'm talking about... That was unlucky. <laughs> I'm talking about UK... What am I even going on about now? I don't even know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even... What? Anyway, they've got a May. She's wasted the wall. So this means we go, right? Your team, uh, we're kind of faffing about here. Think, like, what could we have done a little bit differently there instead of standing where we were? This is not good now, is it? We're on the front line. <laughs> Let's just play it out and see what happens. So, we... Please. 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 Please look at the kill feed, guys. We have lost both of our tank characters. The enemy team is pushing through the choke. This is not the time to remain in the choke. This is the time to say, I am, I am going to leave. Good day, sir. I am gone. You walk forward back into that. Okay, we're disengaging now. It looks like we're going to be kind of okay. Okay. Think about our position. What's the plan? You're talking to your team. I don't know what you're saying, but what's the plan? Our plan is not to remain here because we can't do anything. There are three positions we can be in. You occupied the first position behind and above. There is also this position here, which gives you line of sight down here. Obviously, you're exposed, so you've got to be careful. And there's in the window there. Both of them, are, well, this position up here is accessible by everybody. But this one is accessible by you by using Coach Gun to get up there. Please do that. Do not stand where you are because you have literally nothing to absorb or mitigate damage coming towards you. It will just hit you and you'll die. Shoot the dynamite. Okay. See here, right? Like, what, one thing which is annoying me is you should throw the dynamite up here and then detonate it because it will splash damage down behind the barrier. You're just, like, throwing it at the barrier and it's, like, it's not achieving anything. And don't be afraid, as well, to just spam primary fire into a barrier. When you've got full 12 shots in the weapon, just blast, 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 and then do a reload out of sight, you can actually burn barriers down fairly quick with that, especially with, like, a roadhog piling damage in. Anyway, May's wasted the wall again because she's an idiot. What are we doing? We're, we're waiting. We're getting our team together. We'll, we'll throw the dynamite into a barrier. Waste. And then we get that. So that was always going to happen, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Because we've got no barrier. We're also not tracking ultimates. We don't know what's going on. We do not have the team comp for this. This team comp will not break this choke. Unless you and Hanzo flank. So, but he's playing Junkrat now. This guy is a hero. This, Ladies and gentlemen... 
Big round of applause for uh, Griffin Talon 207. I was, these names on console really confuse me with the dashes and all of this. And, and why is it smaller? And, and who even knows, ladies and gentlemen? This guy wins. He wins a gold medal. Let, let's just th take a moment to appreciate the power of that player. But then we've got to ask ourselves. Why did that player spend two minutes of the game <laughs> trying to play Roadhog? Going down. Push right. yeah. Anyway, we're getting picks now. And Arissa's not even in the fight. Yes, we're going to do it. Cool. Unlucky. 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 So we can always practice that. Don't worry. You had it in your head. It was a good idea. We've almost got Bob, actually. So a note on the weapon, on the Viper. When you fire down the scope, if you clock somebody in the head, you're going to do quite a bit of damage to them. You can rapidly follow up that shot with a hip fire shot. It won't do as much damage, but it's much faster than bringing up the sights again. So you can go bang, bang, instead of bang, bang. It's a little bit quicker. This would help. I was going to say, if we know somebody's there, which we can just see now. <laughs> We're just sort of peeking out. If we know somebody's there, throw the dynamite in. Yeah. Dynamite is amazing. It's such a good ability. Or just shoot them in the head. That's fine. Okay, so actually, let me just recap what happened there because it can be a bit confusing at times. And You did actually say in your email, you don't understand the reason for the outcome in this game. I'm not going to spoil the outcome, but you actually did nothing to achieve the capture of that point, did you? Like Lucio and Zarya killed people and then walked in. Um, so the enemy team just played terrible and you literally just like walked in. It was like, oh, this is great. But there were a lot of times you only actually tried to get it once, which was the high ground with a coach gun to try and get a cheeky shot. He didn't never get the high ground position in front of the point. Anyway, so basically he didn't really do anything. And what you got to think with Overwatch is I always go back to this, don't I? You have to have a plan and your plan as DPS is to kill, right? You need to, your plan equals, that was a bit laggy there. It, this always gets laggy sometimes. It equals to kill. You want to try and take out the enemy team. So you've got to put yourselves in positions to do that. More often than not, plat players spam barriers and it is brainless and stupid. And you just are not getting any kind of effective DPS from that. Anyway, we've got Bob available. I like this. We're gonna. I really like that. So you actually showed the combo there, which I haven't actually spoke about in this video. So when you throw the dynamite, if you leave your, wherever you're aiming and you throw the dynamite, if you immediately primary fire after throwing it, you will always hit it and it will be out of range of detonating on you because of course it causes you damage and it will detonate wherever the dynamite is. That was a really good use of it. What I'd be looking to do now is I'd throw Bob into the point here. Oh, there's a Winston and a Diva behind. Uh, there's a Winston and a Diva behind. Well, we know there's a Winston, so this means they've got no possible way of mitigating Bob. Remember, Bob turns into a turret. So Bob and Bob auto locks onto people. It's stupid. Bob is probably going to get nerfed, but he locks onto people and he's just like, bam, 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 and just loads of damage. And, and instead we die to a mate, like... Look at the kill feed. Look at the kill feed. Look at this. It's super messy. Where's my thing gone? Here it is. It's super messy. Look at this. Like it's back and forth. But we've got like one, two, three picks there. Yes, they've got three picks as well. But imagine if Bob was there. Imagine if Bob was like here because you you sent him onto the point. Symmetra, I mean, she can't walk around there because Bob will kill her. Like the only thing that can stop Bob is defense matrix. Uh, did they have an Anna? I don't know whether they've got an Anna, so they can't put him to sleep. That Winston can't bubble him because he was nowhere. Yeah, they don't have an Anna. So they literally have got no answer to Bob there on the point. So a bit of a wasted opportunity, but whatever. That's really stupid. That is absolutely low bronze tier play off that diva using a bomb there. The fight's over. So this is a win for us now. All we got to do is regroup. Like, I don't know what you're telling your team. I want to drink some tea while we walk back to the point. Beautiful. Hopefully this tea ain't cold. Oh, baby. I'm so British sometimes, it hurts. But then I am British. I mean, what the hell? Right then, what's the plan? So apparently the plan is to go in through the low ground. Remember what I said about positioning? You said in your email, you fall down to gold and you just get straight back up to plat. That's because I think you can just aim, right? You're better than gold players. But the problem in platinum, and, and this is why you're not getting into diamond, is you're not taking up these juicy positions. We're not like getting up here to the high ground. We're not using this window. We're not, we're just, we're just walking through here. This is just madness. It's madness. It's, it's, it's madness. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> hey, let's go top right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. But it's one for one and we've lost our main tank. So this means we can't engage. But we've got the diva out of the mech. So this is a really nice result. So all we've got to do now is wait for Arissa to come back. We're getting a bit eager. We're getting a bit eager. We're getting a bit eager here. 
Well, still up top, guys. Okay, we're taking a decent position. Okay, we know this is Symmetra and Moira up there. This is going to be interesting. Okay, we dynamited her. That's not too bad. We're getting healed. Okay, we've got a pick. All right. So we've killed her with a dynamite. This means we are now on the point with a man up. Because I think our Orisa should be getting back. Beautiful, beautiful again. Beautiful again. Coach Gun is really good, right? We've got to show this off. So what you just did there to this Winston is freaking beautiful. But there's another hero you can do this to. It's Doomfist. If they try and jump on you, you Coach Gun those son of bitches. And they go straight flying back. It, it really screws them up, especially Doomfist. So at least try and be aware of when a Winston might possibly jump. And then use your Coach Gun on him. It's so cool. All right. Okay, Riss is back. Their Symmetra is back now, though. So that's fine. But we got to pick on Hanzo, so it's still go time. This is ultimate. Use ultimate time. Be careful of Bob, though, because he'll fall into the hole. Bob, use Bob, use Bob, use Bob, use Bob, use Bob. Use Bob. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we've lost Lucio. Symmetra used her ult there, so when we'd used Bob, Bob wouldn't have been that effective, but it would have forced the fight, I guess. Actually, are we winning this fight? No. No, where are you going? Why are we walking towards the point with everybody dead? It's not. Like, it, somebody just said huge pick, I think, there. It's not. It really isn't. You've walked forward. You've got a little kill. It's cheeky, right? It is cheeky. But it doesn't really matter because you're not getting ultimate charge because you've already got Bob. Their team are going to respawn faster than your team. There's no way you can take this point. Bit late on the coach gun, but whatever. We're, like, we're in a really bad position there. I can't stress to you how bad this is. I'm going to write it on the screen. I'm so pissed off. Bad position. Really bad. Really, really bad. We're standing in the middle with no tanks in front of us, with our entire team rushing at us, and I don't know what we're trying to do. And we're going back for more. Get the high ground, man. High ground. Going on the top right, guys. Top right. Um... Diva will eat your bomb. Don't throw it into her face. Maybe, maybe we bob now? Maybe we bob and we've got Bongo, so Bob's going to be super OP even more. Bob! Bob! What are we doing with Bob? Oh my god. Winston's pushing me around. Are we going to use Bob? Right. Hello, Bob. Also, Anna should legit nano boost Bob. He's so strong. Okay, this is just an aim game. Aim training, which we're losing. We should have used Bob way earlier there. Would have been way more effective. I'm going to go back and show you why. Watch this. Okay, let's go back again. Fight breaks out. We use Bob now. We've got two kills. Bob's in there doing damage. We're doing damage. But, but the thing is... Diva would have been demacked instantly by Bob. A grav into nowhere, but whatever. We don't care about players. Like that's that's whatever. She's on our team, but we don't care. Our Bob should still but have been out. Unlucky there. We could have got a kill. We didn't. We're punching Symmetra turrets. He's still a bit late on Bob, and then I think we use him. Yeah, but now they're using all of their ultimates. They've got Rally. They've got uh, Hanzo Dragon was going through. Azari is off to the side of this. She's getting healed. Yeah, and it's just a bit of a mess now. And this is like, you're missing a lot of shots. If you had a better position, a high ground position, <laughs> probably would have been better. Anyway, unlucky. Let's skip forward. So we've got a tracer now and a roadhog. We've got golds, but I've got to say something about golds. Um, even the worst team on the planet has somebody with golds on. So literally just don't even care what golds, what they even say. Makes no difference at all. All right. So it looks like we're going for top right again. It's a shame I can't hear what you're saying. Are you probably telling them where to go? Because I think what you're doing is you're spending too much brain power on trying to marshal the team and not thinking about what you should be doing. The best thing you can do in Overwatch, and this will get you right up to like high masters, is understand the heroes that you play. You could argue that there, you maybe could have just spammed primary fire through that it's such a close range choke take a widow jewel he's always brave take a widow jewel oh lord what 
Why didn't we coach gun him away? Okay, so uh, you've used Bob, and I don't like this because the barrier is up. I would have waited for the barrier to finish because this is just going to half Bob's effectiveness because he can't fire through a barrier. Unless you get lucky and the enemy team are behind it, which you're not. So that was a waste of Bob, really. And, and Bob doesn't typically... Whoa, this is crazy investment. Why is that... Why did that happen? Why did that brig... I mean, I know it's brig, and I know brig is pretty strong. But, like, brig, you can't take on three people. Especially with a bongo down. <laughs> this is back for more. This is really weird. This is turning into a right mess. Moira thinks she's DPS. Yep. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to... What the hell is this? That was a nice air shot. I, I have no idea what happened there in that fight. I literally cannot tell you. It was just a complete mess. <laughs> I got my old man. Let's go. Let's drop the beat. Okay, 35 seconds to go. How many ultimates do we have? Like, the other thing... Okay, so we've got a uh, beat hog. I actually... We should probably get Blake. So the, what we've got to do, like, and, and this is like beyond you as a player, but this is just, I guess, for everybody. We have to look for win conditions. This is how you beat 2CP a lot of the time because you need to eliminate the enemy team completely, right? If you don't do that, or at least you wipe out like five of them or at least, at least minimum four of them really fast, you won't be able to take the point because they'll start respawning. The way we win this is dead simple. They have no defensive ultimate. They've got Brig with Rally, which I guess you could argue is defensive. But a Nanobladed Genji will eat through that. And they've got Moira. She doesn't have a defensive ultimate, really. What we've got here is almost a Blade and a Nano Boost. These guys should know this and should recognize it and be like, we're going to Nano Blade next fight. Or Genji says to save the Nano or whatever. That's a super strong combo. This beat is obviously defensive. I mean, I'd expect that to be used pretty much immediately as we go into the fight. Diva's probably got a bomb, but, you know, whatever. Use this beat just to get in aggressively. But again, this is all like ultra high level um, coordination, which I know you guys are not going to see at this level. But let me just carry on going through the explanation. Roadhog can just pretty much do what he likes. You've already used the rally. Uh, your ultimate's coming up. You bet your, your ultimate you just use whenever, right? So the win condition is just Genji and, and Anna. So let's see what happens here. Because Genji in this fight should be able to farm enough for his blade. Okay, nice. Again, we've got the low ground position, but whatever. You know, we, I guess we just want to get in there. Right, we bob straight away, yeah. So already I'm feeling quite confident here because we've bobbed at the best time. We've beat it at the best time and we're getting in their face. Here's the bomb, which is not that good, but it kills our right... Kills our Reinhardt. And I bet Genji blades at the end. Like now. And do we have Nano? Press tab, press tab. Oh, well, I'll bring up the score. There's the Genji blade. You see what I mean? This is really bad play off this guy. We could have, like, and off the team as well. But for the team to have done what I explained prior to this fight it was literally impossible because it's a platinum team. Yeah. Okay. Let's jump forward. Okay, team comp. Um, this is not enough healing. I don't like... It, it, Brigitte and Anna is not enough healing together. It might be after she gets changed, which she isn't changed just yet. On PTR, of course, she does a little bit more healing. Uh, and she's more tanky because of the stun change. But that's still to be decided. These picks are like yeah let's like you know it could be fine but at least you've got a barrier tank so barrier tank and anna minimum to hold this right position wise we are like kind of okay a place i'd be though is on top of this building here you can just see a bit of it peeking out there that's a much better position because it gives you vision sights down into here and you can look after this window it gives you sights down into here so you can spam people as they come through it's much better than being here like i don't like here because it's a little bit open. You're, you, you're kind of easily accessible. And of course, you could move between both these points anyway. So if you needed to come down here for whatever reason, you could. Uh, and also, if you're on the high ground up there, you can throw your dynamite through this window as they approach and detonate it on them, which is beautiful. But you can still achieve that here anyway by throwing it through the choke, which I presume you will do. 
Okay. Nice headshot on Winston. Crazy teleport <laughs> strat. What? They never work. Oh, I got them. Okay. In that example there, it's not worth dynamiting, right? If it's just a solo target coming through, just shoot them. Throwing the dynamite meant that you didn't fire an extra shot there. Which now he'd be dead, right? I mean, he died in the end, sure, but he would have been dead faster. Remember, all these little things help. And then we could have threw dynamite down there and it would have been juicy. I mean, we know there's a diva down there, but hey. Reaper behind. Somebody's in point. See, look, again, our first reaction is to dynamite. A solo target, it's a waste of time. I mean, it killed him because he's a brain-dead Reaper, but you should have just shot him, right? Easy win. What was that? Turret on turret action. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, I, again, I'm a bit perplexed as to why Junkrat would be in the choke, ladies and gentlemen. You know, somebody with movement abilities where he could be on the high ground over here or like even where you are or just somewhere where he's not going to get hit with a bloody fire strike. My God. Okay, nice dynamite. Lucky the Reinhardt dropped his barrier. Really interesting barrier there. <laughs> anyway, Junkrat's killed two people with a rib tire. And we get somebody with a dynamite. All right. Ooh, we got a Pharah now. Okay. So now we really need to change our position, don't we? The reason why we need to change our position is Pharah fires rockets directly at us. What happens when it hits the wall behind us? Uh, that's right. Splash damage. I know it's not much. or Well, it, it is, I guess, if it keeps being hit. But it's not how it used to be, but it's still splash damage. If you're on this roof over here, so you're here, yeah? Farah has to hit the rockets into the ground to cause the splash damage. Also, you'll have a better line of sight taking out the Farah. So... Your problem here is your positioning is not good. There's also a uh, uh, Sombra. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh, yes, I got the fair. I got the fair. How Shit, did the okay. Symmetra kill the fair? Oh, that was... we got to watch that again. Let's watch that again. No, let's watch that again. That is beautiful. Because I was about to go, oh, there's, there, there's Sombra. And you just, you knew it. You knew it. And you just, look at this. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. Okay, nice oh, movement yeah, no, ability there. uses there. Nice job, guys. Still, though, you're not on top of a mega health building. Get on the mega health building. Uh. You're looking at it there. <laughs> Special attack. The Alright, they're getting aggressive. Have we almost got a bob. We're getting sombered. Uh-oh. Never stand still. Never, ever stand still. Standing still is a terrible idea. Never do it. You could have been asking for healing as you're moving back or something. Because if Sombra was, like, a really aggressive on you there... Ugh. Okay, we lost because they got in, basically. Which is a terrible way of explaining that. Whatever. We do have a rip tire, so we should be able to stop this push. They're going to be close to an EMP, and we take a beautiful position. I like it. So I'd expect them to rush in an EMP, and then uh, we know they don't have Shatter. I don't think they have Shatter anymore. We'll see. We'll see. Farah, um, they maybe got Diva Bomb, actually. Not, we know they don't have Trance. Okay, we're really open here, aren't we? We're taking a ton of damage. So... I mean, we're dead. We're basically dead here. Unless we can do something beautiful. Well, we dropped down. Junkrat kills Farah. What have we done? Which is a cardinal sin. Why have we not used Bob? So here we're getting drilled. I'm, I'm like worried. We dropped down. Okay, I'm thinking we're dead. We're lucky we survived. Then we use the ultimate. It's do or die, right? Instead, we get killed. And then they are just investing everything. EMP was huge. Bomb was huge. This needs to be massive off Junkrat. Turn the tide of the battle. That, was not that might be enough. Next kill is huge. Bob, yeah. Next kill is huge. It's tense. Okay. It's messy. This might be working out in our favor, though. Yeah, we got a May on point. I think we're okay. 
So in these messy fights on 2CP, it actually works in the favor of defense quite a lot because the enemy team are just wasting time now. Like they need to get out. They need to disengage. And they have done, right? But killing them slowly is actually good for you. Like remember, they need to decisively kill you, which is good for them. But for you to decisively kill them is actually a lot of the times pretty bad for the defensive team. Well, obviously, it's never bad to kill the whole enemy team, right? But you get what I'm saying. It's more efficient to sort of kill them slowly. <laughs> Right, now we've got damage boost. Now, now we're in business. Okay, he's got shatter probably now. We're getting super aggressive with trance. Yeah, big shatter comes out. Special attack. We're getting the kills. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. That's cool. Oh, and barrage. So, one thing we need to be, really be aware of now is they use three ultimates there. Also, we shouldn't kill the baby diva. We should leave the baby diva as, as long as possible. They use fire, uh, fire strike. They use earth shatter. They use barrage. They use transcendence in that fight. So what do they have for the next fight, right? They've got diva bomb, maybe. Well, they've got Winston now. Soldier? They didn't have soldier before. So they've changed their team, right? And they shouldn't win the next fight. We've got the ultimate advantage. This position, again, is a bit weird. Like, why are we not in the position we were in before? You know, at the very start of this defensive phase across the map. Oof. That's a big dynamite in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, why are we dying here? Let's, let's just think, right? This is so criminally stupid. We should, for a start, be over there on the high ground. Instead, we're here. We knew the enemy team were there. Right? Well, we knew they were just slightly down the, 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 the doorway there, whatever that is, the choke, the stairway. We stayed here. We wait for them to kill us because we, we cannot escape this. Like, how we? Oh, my God. And we're going to die with our ultimate, which, again, is really bad. When you've got your ulti, you should play safer, right? Because your ultimate will change a fight, especially a messy fight on 2CP. That's not the play straight away there. The dynamite isn't the play. To just start shooting is the play. May is doing a lot of work in your team here. Like, Oh, God. So we've just used two ultimates, B, and used Bob when we've won the fight. And we've used uh, May. Because why not? Now this means we are critically, and I mean critically, like under equipped for the next fight we will not have ultimates to take the enemy team next like we can't stop what our teammates are going to do right they're good they're crazy they're going to use their ultimates but we really did not need to use bob there so we just got to think more of like yourself right be annoyed that your team have used it yeah but think uh-uh do i do i really need to use bob when we killed like half the enemy team and there's only three of them left and it's just their tanks it's not even what's that diva doing so we, again we should have just shot the diva shouldn't we instead of trying to prioritize dynamite yeah, so they're coming top left. Where do we not want to be? We want a dynamite, don't we? That's what you're trying to do. Oh my god, this is so risky. Okay, Arissa drops a huge barrier there. What are you doing? What are we doing? Are we throwing? We're not throwing because Mercy saved us. But that was highly questionable. We are a hero that functions at the range we're fighting at right now. We don't really want to go into close range and we're dead to an orb. Ah, the orb! Oof! 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 Ah, the orb's going to get us! Oh, no. Okay, unlucky. Stagger them, stagger them, stagger them. Stagger them, yes, the big call. That's what you should always do on 2CP. See, we're so close to winning now. Dead simple. We've got Bob back. We need to know what ultimates we've got on our team. Is May maybe getting her all back? The enemy team are going to have ultimates now, though. They've got a Junkrat now. Deagle Bomb. Uh, they'll, uh, what are we doing? Don't know what we're doing there. Uh, okay, we kill the Widow. Oh, dear. Hopefully we live, because <laughs> we really need to use Bob on the point. Okay. Oh, dear. 
Oh dear god. Oh dear god. This is just a comedy of bad mistakes, this is. Okay, huge bob. Huge bob. Male. Now we swap our character, right? We cannot come back. Like this is we're, we're we're in pure contest mode. Look at this, right? But the good news is we've got May, and she's just used Blizzard on the point. This is and again my thing lagged. What the hell? This is really really good news for us, right? But we need to swap to something to get back to the point quick. We either get like a Diva, uh, I, I, I don't know, a Doomfist, something that is really good for contesting messy fights. Not Ash. Ash is not going to do that. You know, or a Tracer or something. Okay, huge, huge. This is winnable. We need to... Right, we need to kill this... Right, th this is it. The entire game has come down to this. No pressure. You have got to kill this Riptire. We get an F in the chat if we were streaming. <laughs> May's still doing the best, though. We've got, to chop, we've got to change hero here. We've, we've got to, man. We've got to. No! Uh oh. That's going to be a rip on point. I. Oh, no. Hey, just, just keep going on. I have my ult. I have my ult. I'm going to put the down the middle. Madness. Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Oh, so you just haven't swapped your hero, it's madness, yeah, basically. No progress yet. Keep going, keep going. Faster hero. This May is so annoying. <laughs> okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Gonna take a while now. Okay, we're still, we're still sticking to the Ash dream. It's still winnable. Oh no. <laughs> he says oh. it ends. <gasps> I think it was a C9. Yeah. <gasps> it was a good try, guys. Okay, that's unlucky. Right. I think I've said all that needs to be said. You can get out of plat if you just take up better positions. That's basically it, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been starting through this is unit lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video. And remember, nobody is ever hard stuck at any rank. You can get out of all of the ranks if you just look at your gameplay and think, what am I doing? I guarantee the guy who sent me in this clip, when he watches this back, he'll be like, what am I doing? I'm making a stupid mistake. It's so simple, Overwatches, when your team's not throwing. But just remember, yeah, it's easy to throw in Overwatch than it is to carry. All right, another bombshell. I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.